Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles. G Patrol. Follow us. Welcome back to Whittle. Well, we started with lots and lots of people, and we're whittling away, and we've got just ten left now. Give them a big round of applause. Here they are. <laughs> the way. Well, I think we should find out a bit more about them all. Incidentally, Amanda, first of all, here, you, you are one of the four to follow. Yes. Yeah, I think I there's made a it. little extra clap there because she's the only one left. So, Amanda, let's start with you. Um, you've told us about your bearded collies. Um, do they do any interesting tricks at all or anything? Um, one of them does. One of them can count and add up. How do you do that? <laughs> if I hold my fingers up, she counts. If I say something like two plus four, she barks for the amount of times. No. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She, she does. doesn't go six. But she <laughs> <has>. <laughs> no, she barks. She, she barks, barks six number. times. Right. <laughs> Well, well, you mean, yeah, but she could bark six times, like, you know, the sixth one could come half an hour later and go, there it was. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the following day. But it's all very quickly. Yep, it's it? all very quickly. She sits there and she barks six times. Goodness me. Very clever. Barking. <laughs> Nick, any strange pets and things they do? Um, not strange. I've got a um, Lakeland Terrier. Um, my fiancé would love to get things like blue tongue skinks and spiders and all weird things like that. Yeah, they sound weird, blue yeah. tongue skinks. <laughs> <laughs> right, but you've got a, you've got a what? You've got a... It's a Lakeland Terrier. A Lakeland Terrier. Does he do any tricks? Can he count or anything like that? Um, no, he tries to sit on your head. Right. <laughs> That's not quite so clever, really, is it? <laughs> no. really Julia. Hello. Hello. Tell us about your pets. I haven't got any pets, but I used to have a rabbit. He right. was called Pop. And well, he he's, he's called Pop. <laughs> <laughs> he started off as Poppy because we thought he was a girl, but then we noticed that so his behaviour indicated he was, in fact, a boy. He started hanging out in pubs. And <laughs> <laughs> Ricky! Hi. Hi. So I'll tell you what, I'll just say the names, yeah? I've, what I've done is I've set a precedent here. I've said, da -da -da -da. so I go, Ricky! Hi. Pets! Hi! Pets. How Hi, are pets, you? yes. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got any pets at the moment. I used to have a couple of rats. Did you? Oh, no. What, was that sort of deliberate or they just ended up in your room somewhere? No, I did actually buy them. Right. What it was was that my wife wanted some chinchillas for a present and uh, I went around a few shops and they're quite expensive chinchillas. Yeah. So were the cages. Uh, so I, I went rats. shopping around and then I said to the guy in the shop, how much are the rats? And he said, oh. they're 150. I said, how much is a cage? He said, 25 pounds. I said, oh, right, oh, they're running rats. around the shop, were they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just had two rats to the so cage. So you got them, right. Anne Marie. Hello. Hi. Pets. Cat. A cat? Yeah, his name's Tom. Right. That's original, isn't it? He <laughs> <laughs> was a rescue cat. We didn't call him Tom, that was his name. So. Right. Well, he works for the AA or something, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> right, soon. Catherine. Pets. Yeah. Four Persians. Four Persians? Yeah. That's rugs, isn't it? Wasn't yeah, it? Do you find they lie there a lot? Yeah, right, definitely. <laughs> right. Janet? Uh, I haven't got any at the moment, but we've had goldfish before. Um, we had six, Terence, Trent, Derby, and wet, wet, wet. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh, I see, I'll write six different ones. Yeah. Terence, Trent, Darby, Darby. Wet, 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 wet. Do you have trouble telling like. wet, wet, wet apart? No, it didn't matter really. No, right. You just got wet. I'll call the other two wet as well. Mary! I have a dog, Border Collie. Right. Does he do any tricks? No. Well, he opened the door and got out once. Did he? He <laughs> <laughs> just went like that, suddenly. He did. Did he? <laughs> yes. oh, amazing. Jackie! Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I have two cats, Pepsi and Max. Right. Um, my mum actually has one of their litter who thinks it's a dog, but it's not. <laughs> right, OK. Steve! <laughs> yeah, I've got a dog. I've had her for 15 years now, so she's getting old, but she still runs around like a two-year-old. Right. Um, Where's Nappies and, and has a rat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all of that. Takes up all the bed. You Terrible. sleep with him? No, she sleeps with me. Oh, that's what I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why your eyes are like that. It's like... <laughs> Stop doing that with your paw. Right, there we are! <laughs> To tell him. Well, we're playing for all this money, a jackpot of £500, plus the fact that now it's every time you get a question right, you get £10. So there's a lot of money being thrown around now. Here comes the first question. Aphrodite was the Greek goddess of what? Start the clock. Laundry, love, liquid, laziness. Laundry, love, liquid or laziness? 
OK, let's find out how you've all voted. All ten of you have gone for love. Is love correct? Give them all a round of applause. There they are, you see? Piece of cake. You've all got ten quid. Anybody here would say they're in love at the moment? Head over heels in love. I know you are, Steve. Get that dog out of it, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you are? Definitely. When are you getting married? You said about your fiance. Yep, hopefully uh, next year in the summertime. Right. That's lovely, isn't it? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Another question. I'm filling up. Okay, have a look at this picture. They are, that's the Beatles. Well, waxworks of them. What were the Beatles called before they were the Beatles? Start the clock. Oasis. The Quarry Men, Ringo and the Dingoes, The Lord's Caverners. What were the Beatles called? Um, right, that's interesting. Let's find out how you've all voted. Ringo and the Dingoes. <laughs> well, if that's right, I'm not surprised they changed their name, else they never would have made it, would they? Um, well, most people have gone for Quarry Men. Is Quarry Men correct? <laughs> Down to seven. Round of applause for the seven. <laughs> we have lost. We have lost you, I'm afraid, Anne-Marie, you must put on your Whittle mask. And you, Jackie, and Steve as well. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Look, Jackie, wrong way round. Oh, oh. It's, yeah. it's W for Whittle, yeah? There we are. Now, interestingly, you know, Oasis used to be called Puddle, do you know that? And um, the Spice Girls used to be called Parsley. And Genesis were like that from the beginning. <laughs> Have a look at this picture. That's bullying in a penguin school. <laughs> Here's the question. What is the body of a penguin covered with? Start the clock. Rubber, feathers, fur, or silver paper? The body of a penguin. Press those buttons nice and hard. What is the body of a penguin covered with? Let's find out what you all think. Rubber. <laughs> Someone thinks that penguins are covered in rubber. <laughs> Who's that? Who went for number one? Mary, that was you. <laughs> Reaches for the mask without even needing to be prompted. There we are. <laughs> On it goes. Let's just check what the right answer is, please. Feathers, we're down to just three. Round of applause for the three. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, I'm afraid it's not fur. Janet, we've lost you as well. Mary and Julia too. Julia, you went for fur as well. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Ah. Oh. OK, this is a quick impression now of a penguin hosting a game show. There we are. <laughs> so now it's a timed question. The quickest correct answer from the three of you left in gets £250. You've got to be very quick on those buttons and you've got to be right. Here comes the question. What are the Quantocks? Start the clock. A football team, a rock band, hills or small fish? What are the Quantocks? Well, the ten seconds has elapsed. You've all voted as quickly as you can. We need to find out, first of all, how you voted. All three of you have gone for, for Hills. If it's a football team, you're all out. Is it the Hills? They're all still in. Give them a round of applause as we put their names up now. Up go the names. Ricky Fairclough, Nick Shred, Amanda Smith. OK, let's have a look now at the times. Ricky Fairclough. 2.21 seconds. That's quick. That's quick, Rick. <laughs> Nick Shred. 2.17. Not so quick, Nick. Amanda Smith. 3.25. Nick's got it. Nick's got it. <laughs> and he can't wait. Here he comes. Nick comes straight down from the upper tier of seats to join Tim centre stage. Stand here, face this way. That's it, yeah, shuffle across there. 250 quid, well done. Not bad. Any thoughts of what you do with that? Uh, oh, uh, take the film fiance out for a nice meal. Yeah. yeah, you could put it all towards a wedding, couldn't you? If you've got could 500. Could come in handy, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you know where you're going to get married? Currently? Not yet, no. No, all right. Do you want me to get on with this? Yeah, no. I might as well. No. Yeah, we could <laughs> chat all night, but I could. think you want the money. <laughs> right, I'm going to ask you to put four things into a correct order, Nick. If you get it right, and you get them in a correct order, 
That's how I look at this lot with their back. Ignore this lot here with their masks on, OK? If you get it in a correct order, that's it. You've got doubled that 250 to 500 pounds. Everybody else in the audience, you vote on this question as well, because if Nick gets it wrong, the people in the audience who get it right get the money split between them. Ooh, could be some money. OK, now, before we have a look at this question, do you play any cards at all? A little. A little. Poker? Yes. You play poker? Occasionally. Right, well, that could be quite handy, because this is a question about poker. <laughs> Anyone in the audience play poker? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring my lights down now and have a look at this question. Do you want to move in just slightly? Yes. Yeah, that's it. Place the following poker hands in order of value, starting with the lowest. You have 15 seconds to do this. You ready, Nick? Yep. Start the clock. Flush, two pairs, full house, straight flush. Tell me at the end of the 15 seconds. OK, well, there's a bit of, a bit of uh, murmuring in the audience. Well, I think one or two people might know this, so, Nick, you've got to try and keep the money from them. What do you think? Two, one, three, four. Two, one, three, four. Can we have that up on the screen, please? Two, one, three, four. This is what Nick thinks. Two pairs, flush, full house, and straight flush. Are you feeling confident about this, Nick? This is for 500. <laughs> no. You can't change your mind, but, well, it looks, it looks good to me. Mind you, I've never played poker. <laughs> I, a snap I could have done. It would have been just that one, that one, and that one. I could do that. OK, we want, first of all, we want two pairs. Have we got two pairs? Yes, we've got two pairs. Give it a round of applause. <laughs> Whoa, OK. Now we want flush. Have we got flush? Yes, you got flush! Nick, what do you know about it? <laughs> well, here it is then. Full house will give you £500 because straight flush will obviously be in the fourth position. Have we got full house? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, 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 if, if he ever asked you for a game of poker and he goes, I've never played before, really, <laughs> just ignore him, because he knows all about it. You've obviously you've played before, haven't you? Uh, uh, very badly. <laughs> well, evidently you know. So, I can reveal, just academically now, that 21 people in the audience got that right, and were it not for Nick getting it right, you would have got £11.90 each. Sorry. So, you've disappointed a few poker players in the audience tonight. Is anyone here who think they got that right? There's a gentleman over there with a the glass on. Do you think you got that right? Do you play much poker? Not for many years now, no. No. Well, can you just apologise to him, please, Nick? I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, believe me. He looks a little bit mean, actually, Nick, to be honest. <laughs> Five in the pocket. Five what? Five in my pocket, I'll be happy. Five, yes, he's doing that mumbling poker thing. <laughs> there we go, all the money's gone to Nick. That's it. See you next time on Whittle! Bye! The end. <laughs>